What I'm about to show you is not, you know, I've, I've showed you, if you remember, um, rational functions. And I said, you want your rational functions to be fair. You factorize, you get asymptotes, your intercepts, then you do shady regions and you'll be fine. Right? This set of four steps, it does you every single time. There's not really, at least you haven't got one yet, a set of, oh, these are the steps that will help me work this thing out. And it's like, I do this every single time. The reason why is because, and this is why I'm showing it to you, this is a special case. Special cases are deliberately designed to help you see sometimes you can't just machine out the steps and, and out pops your answer. Okay? So I'm going to take a couple of approaches on this. Right? For starters, let's just get the general shape of this thing. Okay? Now, if you compare these guys... Okay? So just compare these guys, right? You can get some pretty easy patterns out of this, right? Like, okay, let's, let's just do x, that's, that's fine. Okay, linear function. Right. When you go to x squared, you're getting this guy. Now, when you go to x cubed, you're getting something that's steeper and it has this odd symmetry about it. Okay, and then when you come to here, you lose a half. You agree with that? Okay, now just for a second, I'm just trying to get a sense of the shape, right? Just have a look at your first quadrant for a minute, okay? It goes, um, Steepest, steep, not really steep, it's just a straight line. And then this is shallow, right? So I am guessing, like, this is x to the power of two thirds. Where does this fit in the scheme? It's going to be even more, um, like, shallowly. One, two, three, four. Is it not between three and four? Two thirds is between oh, a half and one, yeah. right? Okay, so it's, it's somewhere in here. It's going to resemble one of these, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a go. At, okay. Let's have a go at this, right? Now, here's my. I'm just trying to use my intuition first, right? I'm expecting. I'm guessing, right? As I go up the scale, I'm getting steeper and steeper and steeper, right? Does that make sense? So I'm expecting something as steep as this, but not as steep as that. Yep. There's my first tool. My second tool is I can differentiate this thing, right? It's not hard to differentiate. Dy on dx. What happens to the two thirds? Comes out the front, right? And then you reduce the power by one. Minus one over three. Okay, so this is a negative power, so it's going to go on the denominator. So I'm getting this. You happy with that? Okay. Now, what's this thing look like? What does it look like? When you put zero in, it becomes undefined. Okay. So for starters, for starters. I do have an, um, an asymptote at x equals zero, right? I can't go there. Can't ever, ever go there, right? But I can go everywhere else, right? I can go everywhere else. If I have a really, really small number here, okay, like close to zero, I can't get to zero, but I can get close to zero, right? If this is a very small number, then what will a cube root of a very, very small number be? will also be small, right? Be also small. And so three times a really, really small number will still be a very, very small number. You follow me? Yes, yeah, so the gradient's going to increase from the denominator. So, oh, almost there. I've got the small number on the denominator. Yeah. A small number on the denominator. So what does that mean about the whole number? Big it's huge, yeah. right? It's doing this kind of thing, yeah? You right with that? Yeah, the gradient. Okay, so now what happens as this increases as it skyrockets okay put in a million there if you like right or yeah a million because in fact a million is a cube number right a cubic number the cube root of a million it's got six zeros right 100. so it's a hundred yeah so this is going to be a hundred sorry yeah the cube root of it yeah all right so this is going to become very very large right it won't get there quickly because it's a cube root but it will get there so if I have a really big number in the denominator, what's happening to the whole thing? Approach really zero. Like so. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay, now, that's good. That tells me a lot. That confirms that I'm getting this kind of thing. And it's never gonna, it's never gonna like turn around and, and, and whip around up and get steeper. It's gonna get shallower and shallower forever, right? What's happening over here on the left? It's, it's like hyperbolic. Yeah. It's like a hyperbola. Why is that? Because the cube root of x, right, it retains the sign. Unlike the square root of x, which gets rid of your sign, okay? This is going to be the same thing as it's over here, okay? In fact, this is an odd function, an odd function, okay? 
So what does this tell you, okay? Negative gradient, what does that mean? Uh, it means that this guy is actually going to be <laughs> decreasing over here. He exists. And don't forget, he's approaching negative infinity. Going, dropping like a rock, right? Just like the cube root of x was, right? And then what's happening over here, well, the exact opposite's going to be over here. And by the way, you remember, right? This is an odd function. When you differentiate an odd function, what do you get? An even function. And if you differentiate an even function, you get an odd function. So we differentiated something which we didn't really, sorry, something that we didn't really know about, but what we got at the end was odd. So therefore, what we must have started with was even. So once I've got this shape, I've got the other shape. Now, now, I'm not quite finished yet. But I have the shape of it. I do know, by the way, it's approaching this vertical, it's going to be tangent to the y-axis. What's happening at x equals zero? It's got a vertical tangent, I don't know why. It's just yeah, it is. It's not differentiable. It's not differentiable. It's not differentiable. I have a break. Is it not continuous? But can I put in, can I put in x equals zero into this? Yes. X equals zero, so y equals zero to the power of two thirds. Now you can do this any way you like, right? Um, you can either say, okay, because this is the question we had before, which order do I do it in? Am I doing the cube root of zero squared? Or am I doing uh, the cube root of zero and then square it, right? Well, you're going to get zero. But is it going to be open with continuous? It's continuous. It's continuous, the function is defined, but the derivative is not defined. So it's continuous, but not differentiable.